Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 1024. My name is Christina and on today's episode I'm showing you some of Wendy Vecchi's new products and showing you how to do the granite wear technique. So today we're going to be continuing on making our card. On the last episode we did the background with the um, archival inks and alcohol ink and then the stamping and today we're going to work on the flower and the flower pot. So Wendy has some new Stamp It stencil its. We have the Carnation, the Hydrangea, the Marigold, and then the Bouquet. And I used all of these on these different cards here. You can see the four different uh, flowers from the Stamp It stencil it. And then she has some matte minis. These are vases and pictures. I used the picture here and then the flower pots in a large and a mini form. So we're going to use the carnation. And so what I like to do is stamp my carnation on to where I want it placed on here. Just looking for a stamp block. That will fit. Oh, I should probably get one a little bigger. I had one here, but it got lost and everything. I'm going to stamp using black archival ink. And in this case, I'm going to place it around the middle-ish of my card. So there we have where the flower will be placed. And I'm going to just hit it a little with the heat because I find on the specially stamping paper with the coating, sometimes it stays wet a little longer. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Now I have stamped two here on a piece of paper um, because I am going to cut them out and place it over top of this. But first I need to ink them. So that's where, even though this is on a piece of paper like this and I'm cutting them separately, I don't really need to use the stencil at this point, but um, I'm going to use it anyway just to show you how it works. So I'm using some emerald green ink for the stem. So what you do, you can see how this just lines up perfectly with that stem. And I have the mini inkers from Ranger here. And I'm just going to ink it in. So if you were doing this directly on your card, um, you don't have to worry about getting ink anywhere else. So just like that. I can actually do it on the card just because I'm going to be um, lifting the leaves so maybe the under leaf should be green. So I just put it over like that. And you can see how the green is only on the stem. And then for the flower, I think I'm going to use the blue. And so I need my blue foam. And 
And I'm doing it on this one since I'm going to be cutting it out. I stamped two separate ones to make it easier. Just sort of line it up. And just like that, we have our flower colored. So the next thing I need to do is cut out the stem and the flower. So I have finished cutting out my flower, but now we're going to work on our flower pot. I'm going to use the mini flower pot for uh, my card. And I am using the T Rose um, archival ink and my little mini applicator here. And I'm going to just cover the pot with the T Rose. And I'm going to do the little piece here that gets added on. Just like that. So I'm going to emboss with tea rose embossing powder. So whatever embossing powder you're using, you use that ink underneath. Now sometimes the archival ink is wet enough that you could just use the archival and emboss it, but I just find it easier to add some um, embossing ink. This is just the Distress ink. You can use any embossing ink. Put it over my pot and then Pot is covered, and then now so those two pieces are ready. I'm going to just clean up my powder. So now I just need to heat my embossing powder. So the embossing powder has been melted there. I'm just giving it a moment to cool down. And while it's cooling, I'm going to get my next ink ready. I'm using potting soil, again with the mini, dist uh, mini applicator tool. And 
and I'm just putting it sort of around the edges. A little over the other bit. You want to leave some of that pink showing through. And then while pink is still a little wet. You want to take a paint splatter stamp. This is one I had from the Bitty Grunge set from Tim Holtz. There was a paint splatter. And I'm using the Glacier White um, pigment ink from Ranger, but you can use any white pigment ink you have. And you just add those little splatters to it. Like that. And then you can give it a quick dry. So now I can start to put together my card. I can glue my pot together. My glue is going to behave. I'm using the Scotch Quick Dry, but you can use other glue that you might like to use. You can see how that just sits right on, so it now has a really nice dimension to it. And then we find our card. Here we go. So I can glue the leaves on, but I'm not going to glue um, the actual leaf. I'm going to just glue the stem because I want that sort of to have a little dimension. That's why I colored the leaves on my card. And then you can see you can place it right over top where you had stamped. So the flower will sit in like that. My glue is not fully behaving here. It's clogged again. And you're putting it right over top again where you stamp. That's why I like to stamp the flower down on my card so I know where I'm placing it. And then this pot I'm going to put up high. Just like that. Now sometimes what I do with the flower is I use dimensionals and I pop it up a bit just to give it a little extra dimension. But here I've just taken the edges a little away. I didn't totally glue the edges down. But it's fun on the other ones you can see. Um, here I popped it up to give it a bit extra dimension. And then I have a card here. I've already done the edges with that same brush corduroy that we did this with. And we're just going to 
glue it on with my glue that keeps clogging on me. And again. So you just sort of center it on. And there we have our completed card. So that was with the previous episode where we did the background with the archival inks with alcohol and then the stamp it, stencil it and the granite wear technique on our vase. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on the next episode, I'm showing you the pearl pan pastels. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.